In this lesson, we will learn what stabilizing selection is and why it is important. Remember Darwin's theory of natural selection? Well, Darwin's theory states that organisms with the traits best suited for their environment will survive and reproduce and therefore pass on their genes. After generations and generations of this process, um, ultimately would lead to a new species or perhaps extinction of a species. One of the three ways in which natural selection can change populations is called stabilizing selection. It's a type of natural selection. Take a look at this bell curve illustrated on the left side of the screen. Let's say that a particular population of mice um, bred um, those with black coats and um, you know, light brown, tan, brown, grayish coats, and just a whole variety of blends in between. You've got the extreme coat color on the ends of this bell curve is what it signifies. So, you know, from a very, very light color to a very, very dark color. Stabil stabilizing selection, you've got that root word stable in it, states that organisms with extreme forms of, uh, of a trait will be eliminated from the population. This is the most common form of natural selection. The mouse population with the gray coats or with the brown, tan, any sort of interme intermediary color um, will most likely be the traits uh, or be the mice, excuse me, to survive. And therefore, these traits are going to be more pronounced in the population because the white coats and the black coats are probably the colors that stand out the most in their particular environment. And therefore, they are more susceptible to prey. I'm um, so sorry, to predators. So they kill the white and black, and therefore the gray and brown are more available. So stabilizing selection, in summary, um, helps to, I guess what you could say, stabilize uh, the extremes of, of a trait. Um, and thus, sort of you're getting that um, elimination of extremes. Check out our other videos on the different types of natural selection um, that we talk about in biology as well.